Hi, so good to see you. Join us for a heart-to-heart -heart chat about a life guided by joy, peace and compassion. We are Vegan Heart to Heart. But God gave us permission to eat animals. It says so in the Bible. There are a lot of contradicting messages in the Bible as it was written by so many different minds over the years. I'm sure you can find an excuse for any less than graceful action in there. But it is allowed. It also says in Genesis 1.29, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. I doubt that any religion mandates meat eating. I have never heard, you must eat meat to be a good Christian, Muslim, Hindu, etc. I know vegans from all different kinds of faith, as well as atheists and agnostic. Yeah, I suppose faith is not really about eating God's creatures. True. Another passage I found is, I have more than enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fattened animals. I have no pleasure in the blood of bulls and lambs and goats. When you spread out your hands in prayer, I hide my eyes from you. Even when you offer many prayers, I'm not listening. Your hands are full of blood. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. That to me sounds like a God who prefers peace and mercy over needless exploitation and slaughter of his creatures and creation. What do you think? Do you think God likes the way humans use and abuse his animals? Hmm, I guess not. I wouldn't be. I find it curious how people pick and choose the words from the Bible to suit their desires and actions. I found a very powerful quote by Hubert Reeves, an astrophysicist. Man is the most insane species. He worships an invisible God and slaughters a visible nature, without realizing that this nature he slaughters is the invisible God he worships. So true, isn't it? I prefer to stick with the good old thou shalt not kill and apply it to all beings, attempting to live as kindly and compassionately as I possibly can. In this day and age it is simply not necessary to slaughter billions of innocent beings for food and I cannot see anything in doing so that could possibly please any god. Thanks for watching. For more episodes please subscribe, like the video and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Compassionate listening and education goes a long way. Don't forget to be the vegan you wish you had met before you went vegan.